Now we look at adding new functionality to the library. The purpose is to show how to use inheritance properly. Suppose we want to stock new types of things like DVDs and CDs, etc. in the library. And um, some of those things are shown here, books on tape, CDs, DVDs, periodicals, in addition to books. Uh, they have slightly different um, fields and functionalities. For example, uh, CDs and DVDs should keep track of the duration. Uh, maybe periodicals um, have a restriction that new periodicals cannot be checked out, etc. cetera. Uh, Let's not worry too much about all the different types. Let's just focus on two types for the moment, books and periodicals. So what do we do to implement books and periodicals? Maybe a very naive approach, an initial approach might be to have the book class look like this title, author, ID, borrowed by as fields then um, more fields to store the list of holes, the due date for a book, then we have to store, we have to store the type of the book because the book could be either a periodical or a, an actual book. So the class has two fields, final fields, uh, one is book, the other one is periodical at the bottom here in capitals. Book equals one, periodical equals two. And if you are storing an actual book, book type would be one. And if you're storing a periodical, book type would be two. And we don't want to check out new periodicals, so we need to keep track of the date that we acquired this particular item. If you are creating an actual book, we need the title, author, and ID, and we store the title, author, and ID, and we set the book type to book. If it is a periodical, there is no author. It is a collection of articles, collection of papers. So we have just title and ID, and we set the book type to periodical. This would be the code, or this could be the code for adding books in user interface. As for the title ID, and if it is a book, it gets the author. It invokes the add book method in library with three parameters. That is what we had up until now. And we are adding a new method called add periodical with just title and book ID to create a periodical and add it to the catalog. Add book and add periodical or both in library. They both create a book object. And this invokes a constructor with three parameters. This invokes a constructor with two parameters and both insert the book in the catalog object. Now, we come to more interesting methods. Here is the issue method for issuing a book or a periodical. So we set the borrowed by field to the member who is borrowing the book. The due date is generated. Then we look at the book type and if it is a periodical, we check if it is a new acquisition. If it is a new acquisition, we return false from here. Otherwise, we compute the due date. If it is a book, we always issue it. So due date is set to one month from today. So we have a conditional in the issue method of book. There should be other changes. Uh, get author should not return an author for periodical. Two string should not 
put the author field in the string that is returned. 